I think we are bringing to both NATO and European Union, all of us, all the countries that have suffered under communism and have rediscovered the sweet taste of liberty, our unique experience and our sense of the need for collective security. So, I speak on behalf of Romania, but I think my colleagues will be sharing my, my, my view that we want to be part of a strong, ambitious, global European Union of 27 or more. But this European Union, which has to have a stronger strategic and defense capability, that has to spend more on defense, that has to be more ambitious, as I said, should be built not opposed or counterposed to our American friends and our Canadian friends, but in a strong transatlantic partnership. I do not believe in people saying that we are coming from Venus and other people from this part of the Atlantic are coming from Mars. I think that what we have to do together, the West, is to try not to be divided by different definitions of power or threat, but by our global responsibility to be able to spread around what we have recently rediscovered, the sweet taste of liberty and democratic capitalism. This is the mission of the West. And I think that our countries, with our most modest contribution, but our sincere desire to be part of these two organizations, would could be eventually bringing the glue, the strategic and moral glue, to a reunited West. And this is something that I think my fellow Romanians are fully interested in. And I think Romania and Bulgaria will be, Solomon is also convinced, will be January 1st, 2007. We'll be there together with our friends who have been more hardworking than us. <laughs> Minister Rupel wanted to add, and, and then uh, Minister. Accompanied by Secretary of State Colin Powell.
to support NATO ambition for Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia, and Slovenia. These heroic nations have survived tyranny. They have won their liberty and earned their place among free nations. America has always considered them friends, and we will always be proud to call them allies. I appreciate the foreign ministers of the NATO nations, for the nations who will soon be joining NATO, who are with us today. We just had a great discussion in the Roosevelt Room, in the White House complex. I appreciate so very much the Secretary of State Colin Powell, who has been a strong and tireless advocate for the expansion of NATO. Thank <laughs> you. 